hello, 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 and happy Friday Eve to each and every one of my Aries. Happy birthday to each and every one of you all. If your birthday is today, happy birthday to each and every one of you. Yes, it has been so much fun sending out text messages and reaching out to you all on your birthday. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Keep them coming. Let me know if you want to drop the information down below. Aries, fine, no problem. You don't have to text me your number. You don't have to text me. Your, there's no pressure whatsoever. I just love saying happy birthday or happy Earth Day or happy trip around the sun. All right, let's get right into your, your general reading. We have some wonderful things coming up. So yes, we are on the cusp of a new moon in Aries. Let's get it. 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 If no one else is celebrating you, Aries, on your special day, I am. So that's why I love to send out happy birthday messages. So let's get into your reading. Let's get into your general reading. Please only take what resonates with you, Aries. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. This is your Friday reading. Going up early to see what you can prepare for in April. I'll do a more extended reading on Sunday. All right, let's get into it. All right. All right, first card out of the deck is Two of Pentacles, then we have the Devil card, then we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Fool card, the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Knight of Swords. Here we have the Devil card, like I said before. We also have the Fool card, yes. We also have the Wheel of Fortune, yes, yes, yes. Somebody needs to get as far away from the energy of fear all together the energy of false evidence that appears real because when things are trying to come in right and I, and I see you all preparing for a fresh new start and new beginning some of you all um, this is attached to uh, Capricorn this is attached to Jupiter this is attached to the planet Uranus or Uranus somebody is ready for change I mean like who finally is here change has come upon us right Aries so yeah there's nothing really to be afraid of and that's again false evidence that appears real the thing about devil energy is that every human being actually embodies it everybody has you know, good side to them. Everybody has a bad side to them. So you have to find out moving forward how you can, how and when certain things need to come out. Like for instance, like for instance, let's say for instance, you, um, as I see somebody running away from something, like getting as far away from something as possible, right? This may be like for you, fight or flight. Okay, am I going to stand there and fight the devil, right, with that? Or am I going to just get as far away from that energy as possible? Probably best to get as far away from the energy as possible, right? Somebody could be in a relationship with um, an Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or they could have that in their chart. Let me just say that. doesn't necessarily have to be their sun sign. And I do see, um, and it could go either way, either they're leaving or you're leaving. But nevertheless, it was operating in fear so instead of instead of saying oh yeah oh my god i was in a relationship with the devil i understand what people mean when they when they're saying it but really we're talking about from a metaphysical standpoint so i'm seeing somebody getting out of a situation and in comes this the energy of money i see you balancing out your daily affairs maybe you're working a regular job and your um and your business but i do see big money coming your way so again let's try to refrain from low vibrating negative comments about people again no matter how you feel about them no matter how much you may feel like okay this person hurt me they sold me on one thing it was like a bait and switch they sold me on one thing and then when i got hook line and sinker and then i found out it was something else right yeah, so let's keep it high vibrational so that this can come in for you all. I want to see you all. I want to see big money come in for you all. Like I said, we're going to try to keep this short and sweet, but this is what's coming up for you all. This is what's happening. This is what's happening right now. A fresh new start, new beginning. Get out your yellow. It res resonates with your solar plexus chakras. Yes, indeedy. Yes, indeedy. So stay focused. Stay focused. Stay focused. You all want to continue having a great day, right? Not just on your birthday, but every day. You want to continue having a great day. So again, you want to keep your vibrations high. Keep that solar plexus chakra in alignment, right? Yes, that's where your personal power and your identity lies. So yes, you want to get as far away from energy that... And let me tell you what devil energy is, if I could slow it down for just a second. Even though this is a, this is a general reading, devil energy is that conflicting, confusing energy. Even, even if it's inside of you, even if it's that, let's say, 
should I stay with this person or should I go? Should I stay with this job or should I go? That's that energy right there. What I'm seeing somebody starting to do is not put so much emotion into it. Like so much emotion. And so somebody may have felt like they lost out on money or they lost out on time dealing with certain energies, but you haven't lost out on either one and you're about to see that. That's what's coming up for you very, very soon in April. So again, stay focused. Stay, stay, stay focused. And let's say you were in a romantic relationship with somebody that you felt like, because I know some people are in a happy, healthy relationship, so this does, this part does not apply to you. Um, if you're in a, if you were in an unhealthy relationship with somebody, whether it was a platonic one or a romantic one, remember getting as far away first and foremost from the depth of the emotion attached to it and sometimes physically getting away from that person is creating space, creating room for you to welcome in a new person. Because that's what I'm also picking up on too. I'm also picking up on that there's some new energy that's trying to come in. If you're if you're not in a happy, healthy relationship or you just feel like, okay, I'm ready to date somebody because you all are very passionate sign. You know, Mars is a very passionate sign. That sign is it it is aligned to your energy, your libido, your will, your sexual desires, romantic attraction, creative drive. So somebody is doing something really different than what you did in the past. I do see somebody asking more questions. I do see somebody saying, okay, I'm not going to be contaminated by devil energy anymore. You know, I do want to be in a happy, healthy, whole relationship. Yeah, I don't need to complain about this. Yeah, I know who I am, right? Yes, here we go. At this moment, the universe is listening through your ears, seeing through your eyes, experiencing through your brain. Your purpose for being here is to allow the universe to evolve. Yes, Aries, I love it. Here we have my body is boundless. It is channeling the energy, creativity, and intelligence of the entire universe. Yes, 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 indeed. We're going to talk a little bit more about on Sunday, what else is coming your way. And this is, like I said, Sunday will be an extended moving forward. Um, extended, like wrapping up all the weeks, um, what, what we discussed during the week. Yes. Yes, indeedy. I love it, love it, love it for you, Aries. So like I said, get laser focused, get laser focused on exactly what you want to get as far away from energy that is conflicting. Here we have a fiery approach, a fiery climax approaches. Yes. There's your sign right there, Aries, even though we're not it's not a full moon, but it'll be a new moon in Aries, right? So again, new moon is a new opportunities to do some things differently, right? It's time to set down and plant your seeds of intention. Be very careful about who you share that with. Nothing low vibrational, no, no getting back at somebody, none of that, because you don't want that kind of karma coming back on you. So somebody is starting out fresh, new, very positive, high vibrating, recognizing that, hey, I haven't lost out on any time and I haven't lost out on any money because it's going to come back a different way. Yeah, it's going to come back a different way. Here we have meditate, right? Here we have the number eight. So your vision is going to be very clear, very, very, very clear moving forward in terms of, like we're talking about your spiritual vision, of course, your spiritual vision. But this is what I have for you, Aries. Again, happy birthday to each and every one of you all. I want you all to have a fantastic Aries season, but not just your Aries season, just every single day. Create a create great um, space for a great life. But that's what I have for you. Again, I'm excited for you all, really. I'm really, really excited for you. Getting away from devil energy and moving forward into something positive and higher vibrational, amazing. All right, bye.